Hello and welcome back. My name is Ryan Jennings. This is episode 10 of the Provenance Marketing Show. We're starting to get into a bit of a pace now and the products are stacking up at Buy New Zealand Made. So today we thought we'd go for some on a bit of a theme, which is about keeping clean and smelling fresh. First up, I want to talk about Simple Naked Soap. These guys are based down in Belclutha, would you believe, in uh, Otago. And Tracy and Malcolm have built up a beautiful brand. I love the, this is one of their goats here. Uh, But they go further than just the brand. Their products are an alternative to mass market, highly artificial products to clean or to shave or wash with. And it's made entirely from goat's milk. But more than that, it's made from goat's milk from their own goats. Goat's milk has just got that beautiful fat in it that's really nice for your skin, that creamy thing where water can be quite drying on your skin. The goat's milk is just nice and moisturizing. It puts all that that good stuff back in your skin, basically. So each of these, the neem oil and goat's milk one here, uh, the goat's milk and egg yolk one, these are all made from goat's milk from their goats on their own farm. So this is all handmade, boutique quantities, and it really goes to show that if you want to go from start to finish on something and you're determined enough, which Tracy and Malcolm certainly are, then this is a way of doing it. Next up on the list is this company is called Odorex. Not something that anyone really wants to talk about is odor. In this specific circumstance, it is foot and shoe deodorizer to keep your feet smelling uh, good and not too offensive to everyone who may work with you. These guys took it to another level though. So this is an industrial footwear deodorizer that they won the contract to provide this to the New Zealand Defence Force. So you can imagine how many pairs of boots this prevents from getting smelly. They've also made uh, headlines or made uh, headway into companies like New Zealand Dairy and New Zealand Steel. And it's because this actually works. There's lots of things that say they'll take odour away, uh, but this one actually works. And I'm not just saying that, I'll tell you why. So I do a lot of running, probably not as much as I should, but I do a lot. These started to smell about a month ago because a couple of times I forgot my socks when I brought my gym bag to work. And luckily Bronwyn Roberts sent me some of this and I used a little bit on my shoes and they're getting there, they're better, they were pretty bad. Uh, This is acceptable now. If I was to go to the gym, I don't think I would offend fellow gym goers. They say on the back you've got to use it daily until the smell goes away, so I've still got a a few more days to go. If you'd like to win these products, again, let us know, and we'll be giving those away. As a business, they've been around for quite some time, so their family owned, the Roberts family, uh, owned Odorex, and have been around for, I think it's coming up 30 years, so as long as NZ made. Last up today, last but not least, is a company called health pack pretty amazing company in terms of the volume of what they make they've sent us a couple of different things from their range health pack are experts at providing portion controlled soap and washing products to hotels and motels and even airlines they supply six international airlines including air new zealand and are producing i think in my notes i had over a million products a day that's quarter of a billion products per annum that is going out with our Kiwi trademark on the back. And this product I've just picked up here is called the Eco Stick because no one wants waste, particularly in the hotels and motels. You know, New Zealand's known for being clean and green. It wouldn't be the case if we knew that 87 million bottles that could be recycled maybe aren't in hotels and motels around New Zealand. Health Pack are trying to fix that with these biodegradable, these break down in I think a few years rather than a few decades or thousands of years. And their single maybe double portion. 
what's neat around what Jimmy Kennedy Grant has sent in also, it's a great idea because I just love the, the name, are these goodie bags. And this goodie bag sits in your hotel or motel bathroom. So when you've finished using, let's say, one of the, the soaps from the shower, you can put it in your goodie bag, take it home. You don't have to feel bad anymore. You know how some hotels you think, these are delicious, I'm going to take them home, but you feel bad. Not with Jimmy's, not with Health Pack. They encourage it. Take it home. No waste. That's where they're heading. Uh, they're also a big proponent and sponsor, a big proponent and sponsor of Forest and Bird. They've donated over thirty-five thousand dollars to this organisation. Anything that helps preserve and grow the kiwi, our national icon. I'm a big fan of. They use products wherever they can from New Zealand, such as the honeysuckle honey or the rewa rewa honey or tea tree extract uh, that go inside these bottles that comes from here as well. Uh, if you'd like to win this as a goodie bag, then let us know the last time you maybe uh, took some products home from a hotel or motel, what trip you were on, and uh, you're in to win this. I think that's it for this week in terms of products featured. The last thing I want to say in terms of NZ Made is we've just turned on on our website a live conversational marketing chat program and that goes directly to my phone and Anna's phone. So if anyone on our website has a question about becoming an NZ Made license holder, they can tap that on their phone or desktop. It rings a little bell as a notification and we can help answer your query about whether you're eligible or how much it is directly in that chat. We only turned it on 48 hours ago. We've already joined one company from Waikato uh, for their range of canvas-based products. Uh, so it's working. Uh, I'll keep you updated, I think, for any business owner that wants to really be in real time with potential customers on their website, not just phone, email, and text then a chat program is the way to do it. We're using Drift Conversational Marketing. Uh, there's a number out there, but that's the one we've gone for. Uh, it's easy to install, a couple of lines of code with your web agency and you'll be away. That's it for this week, episode 10, done and dusted. If there's a particular thing you'd like to see on the show in terms of product or a topic you'd like us to cover, then let us know. Let me know, put it in the comments, and we can schedule it up or get in contact with that business. Hope you've enjoyed this, and we will see you next week.